So uh, welcome you all to watch the video of uh, tabulation method. The other name is uh, Queen McElsey method. Uh, previously we discussed about the KMAP method that helps in minimizing the Boolean expression. But whenever the variable is more than four means, uh, it is very difficult to uh, solve with the KMAP method. So for the alternate, we move for this uh, Queen McElsey method. It carries uh, several steps. So the given min terms has been represented in ascending order. Then based on the total number of ones, we should form the group. Okay. After it form the groups, it can be uh, find the pass by subtracting from uh, group one and two, group two and three, group three and four. Okay. Sorry. So in step three, we should find the pass. So how can we find the pass? By combining group one and two, two and three, three and four, etc. So group three and four means, sorry. In, in step three, we find the pass. So finding the pair means combining group one and two, two and three and three and four. Okay. So by subtracting group two from group one and group three from group two and group four from group three. So we find the valid pass by checking the remainders one, two, four, eight, sixteen, thirty-two, etc. These are all two to the power of terms, two power n. Okay. So that n varies from zero to n numbers. Then find the quads. Quads can be found by combining the pair groups between one and two, two and three, etc. Then we should find the octets. So by placing the particular octets into a table along the remainder, we should able to minimize the term due to that as, sorry. In step five, we are going to find the octets by combining the quartz group one and two by same remaining in each quartz. Then finding the essential prime implicant in step six, then reducing the prime implicant by removing the row of each essential prime implicant and the column corresponding to the min terms. Okay, now we, See, so this is how the total number of ones has been find out. These are all the decimal term, their binary representation, the total number of ones. So for 0, 1, 3, okay. So 5 means here uh, you can see total number of ones are 2. For 6, the total number of ones are 2. Okay. For 7, the total number of ones are 3. So likewise, we should make the table. Okay. Come, let's see with the example. Simplify this Boolean expression using tabulation method. So these are all the min terms. So in step one, what we should do, arrange them in terms in ascending order. So this is the ascending order 2, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, 14 and 15. Their corresponding binary numbers are written. Okay. Now find the total number of ones. Here the total number of ones are marked in red color. Okay. So here one, here two, here one, two, two, three, three and four. So these are the total number of ones. Now step one is over. Then move to step two. Okay. In step two, so based on the number of ones, we should form a group. Uh, in example, so total number of ones, sorry. So based on the total number of ones, we make a group. Okay. So the total number of ones are 1, 2, 3, and 4. Okay. So it should be classified into group 1, group 2, group 3, group 4. So we can name them in any group. For example, A, B, C, D. Okay. So X, Y, Z. Likewise, we can group anything. Okay. The min terms should be rearranged based on the number of ones. So when the number of ones is 1 means that should be classified as group 1. The number of ones is 2 means it is group 2. The number of ones is 3 means it is group 3. The number of ones is 4 is it is group 4. So for 2 and 8, the number of ones is 1. For 6, 9, 10, the number of ones is 2. For 11 and 14, the number of ones is 3. And for 15, the number of ones is 4. So this is step 2. Then move to step 3. Here we should find the pair. So how a pair has been find out? Okay. We already formed the groups. Group 1, 2, 3, 4. The corresponding rearranged min terms. So we should subtract group 2 from group 1, group 3 from group 2, group 4 from group 3. Okay. So here in this term, first 6 should be subtracted from 8 and 2. Okay. So combining group 1 and 2 first. Okay. So 6 minus 2, 6 minus 8, 9 minus 2, 9 minus 8, 10 minus 2 and 10 minus 8. Okay. So these are the answers. So the answers should be in terms of 2 to the power. Okay. For example, 4, it is 2 power 2. Then this 1, it is 2 power 0, 8, it is 2 power 3, 2, it is 2 power 1. So these things only are considered as valid. Okay. Other than these numbers should be considered as invalid. For example, here you can see minus 2. Okay. Minus 2 that come doesn't come under the 2 power terms. Okay. It shouldn't involve a minus also. Then 7, it is an invalid number. Okay. So we should consider only the valid things. So 2 comma 6, 8 comma 9, 2 comma 10, 8 comma 10. So what are the valid things only we should consider the pass. The remaining should be mentioned here. 4, 1, 8 and 2. Okay. Now similarly, we should find the pass for 3 and 2. 3 minus 2. So 11 minus 6, 11 minus 9, 11 minus 10. 14 minus 6, 14 minus 9, 14 minus 10. Okay. It should be written here. Then 
the valid things are only considered there remaining should be written here then finally group 4 minus 3 so 15 minus 1 and 15 minus 4 okay so the valid things are considered here so this is how the pairs should be considered then in step 4 we should find the quarks okay so the quarks should be find out by comparing the pair 1 and 2 okay so these are the valid pairs that we find out in the previous step okay now we should add one extra column that can be called as quarks okay so in this quarks we should compare the remaining first here what are the remainings are there 1 2 4 and 8 okay so you should write remaining 1 remaining 2 remaining 4 and remaining 8 okay here consider what are the remaining 1 8 and 9 here it is 10 11 so 8 comma 9 comma 10 comma 11 for remaining 2 compare these two okay for remaining 2 here it is 8 10 here it is 9 11 so 8 9 10 11 okay for remaining 4 here it is 2 6 here it is 10 14 so 2 6 10 14 then here for remaining 8 it is 2 10 and this is 6 14 so 2 6 10 14 okay so likewise we should compare for this 2 and 3 so here there is no remaining 2 only 8 here so it should be considered only 1 and 4 what are the common things between these two only consider okay so because the pair 3 doesn't have any remaining of 2 and 8 okay so now we combine the pair 1 and 2 and 2 and 3 and find out here for 1 and 2 we are having the common numbers 8 9 10 11 so it should be written here okay and the differences 1 comma 2 is mentioned here because for both 1 and 2 we are having common numbers only and similarly for 4 and 8 remaining 4 and 8 we are having the common numbers 2 6 10 14 so it should be written here 2 6 10 14 okay and the difference 4 comma 8 okay now then here comparing these two okay so 10 11 14 15 okay for this the remaining is 1 and for remaining 4 also 10 11 14 15 okay for remaining 1 and remaining 4 we are having common numbers so it should be written here under the differences here 1 comma 4 then we number these terms as p q r then the final step we should draw the implicant chart table and identify which one is essential and which one is non-essential okay here the min terms should be written in column wise so this is given in the problem 2 6 8 9 10 11 14 and 15 okay then the prime implicants so whatever the value p q r that we defined in the previous step should be considered as prime implicants here okay so the values 10 11 14 15 2 6 10 14 8 9 10 11 okay now you should mark here 10 11 14 15 so what what are the values that comes under the p you should mark here in black okay then for q also same 2 6 10 14 okay then r 8 9 10 and 11 okay you should mark like this but you should wonder why i mark here as red in these regions i can explain that now okay so column base you should check here this 2 comes only under this q okay so it is a prime and essential prime implicant material okay then here 6 it also comes under this q only so it is also a essential prime implicant then 8 9 15 okay so these are all things are essential prime implicants so row wise now you can check okay in every row that is one essential prime implicant that is marked in red okay here this 15 here this 2 and 6 here this 8 and 9 okay so all this p q r can be termed as essential prime implicant and there is no non essential prime implicant here okay so the minimized expression is for p what are the terms we consider 10 11 14 15 okay Likewise, in the K-map, we group that and we find this as AC plus CD bar plus AB bar. Okay. So, this is how the tabulation method works. And this is an, another example, same procedure. So, we arrange the momentums in ascending order. Then, based on the total number of ones, it is grouped here. Okay. Then, we find the pairs. After finding the pair, we find the quads. Okay. Here, five variables comes here. So, we named as P, Q, R, S, T. Okay. Now, in this table, you can see P, Q, R, S, T and the min terms that given in the sum 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 12, 13 and 15. Okay. We mark everyone. Okay. After that, we find that what are the essential min terms. So, here 2, here 6, here it's 8, 12 and 15. Okay. Now, row wise, we can check. Okay. So, here one prime element is there. So, P is a essential prime implicant. Then, here Q. It is also yeah, essential term is there.
So this is also a essential prime implicant and R it is also a essential prime implicant. But in case of S and T there is no essential min term is required. Okay. So this P, Q, R as considered as essential prime implicant and this S and T is a non-essential prime implicant. Okay. So while doing this problem P, Q, R can be taken and either S or T can be taken for simplification for the final expression. Okay. I hope you understand the concept of this queen mckelsey method and you can try these two problems. It can also be implemented with the don't care condition also. Thank you for watching the video. Meet you in the next video. Till then, it's goodbye from Vizayam.